We'll have to wait for the NBA awards to find out if Harden is the MVP. We do expect, though, that he will receive several, several votes. One man who has a vote is a senior NBA writer for Bleacher Report, the great Howard Beck in studio with us for the Western Conference preview show. Now, you know, Harden, the likely MVP, after finishing as the runner-up twice already in his career. Now, among all the players here, Howard, in the 2018 NBA playoffs, does Harden face the most pressure to reach the NBA Finals among all players? It's fair to put him near the top of the list and possibly the top of the list because of exactly that. He's going to win MVP. That's almost a certainty. And so there's a responsibility and an expectation that goes with that. But listen, every year the list starts with one guy, LeBron James. It's always LeBron. The most pressure is always on him for all the obvious reasons. And look, the Warriors have historic talent and are the defending champions. They've got a ton of pressure on them. But I'm actually going to say if we're going to, to start a list and be a little more creative, let's go with Chris Paul, Harden's teammate. Uh, Chris has been at this a little longer than James Harden, has not made a conference finals, much less the finals, and is further up there in years. Like the Rockets window is kind of dependent on Chris Paul's window. Sure. And we don't know how much longer that is. Well, certainly Chris Paul has had his shortcomings, never advanced to the Western Conference Finals in his career. But w with James Harden, while he was part of a team that went to the finals with the Thunder, he is a much different player now with the Rockets. And what we saw most recently from him in the playoffs was a flame out, right? We expected much more from him last year. And that's, isn't that what's hanging over his head entering these playoffs? I think so. And it's fair to, to put that on him. Your record is your record. And Chris Paul has that to, to bear as well. But in James Harden's case, you know, the Rockets really feel strongly that what happened last year was a product of James Harden having done too much. Mm. They had to just, he had to expend so much in the regular season and the playoffs that finally there was nothing left to give. That's part of the process of getting Chris Paul. That is the purpose. It's taken some of that pressure off over the course of the entire season and now in the playoffs as well. I don't think we're going to see that same thing happen to James Harden. Interesting that you mentioned LeBron as the guy who has the most pressure. You know, obviously in the Eastern Conference preview show, you guys talking about whether LeBron and the Cavs will make it back to the finals. But there is a very real possibility that they don't. So let, let, let's say for argument's sake here, it is the Rockets making it to the finals and he doesn't have to face the likes of a LeBron James like Kevin Durant and Steph Curry before him have had to go up against the last several years. Does that change the expectation for what we want and we think that the Rockets should be able to accomplish? For the Rockets, just getting to the finals is going to be looked at as, as a big breakthrough moment for James Harden, for Chris Paul, for Mike D'Antoni, for that matter, Daryl Morey, all, all of them. And, of course, they're, they're not going to want to stop there. You want to win the championship. I don't think they're going to care who is standing across from them at that point, whether it's the Sixers, whether it's the Cavaliers, the Raptors. And I feel like at this point, <laughs> any of those things are possible. And, by the way, quick aside, let's celebrate that for a moment because, and I'm as guilty as anybody, we have thought that this was an age of just inevitability the last few years. And right now, we've got some mystery in both conferences. That's good.